In this tutorial, you will learn about adding tables in BioWin to capture your simulation results. Tables are a great way to capture the results of steady state simulations. Tables can display parameter information in the form of a concentration, a mass rate, or even both. They are customizable, editable, and can be easily exported to spreadsheets or word processing documents. I have a configuration open and say I want to add a table that shows the airflow rate in the plug flow reactors. To begin, I want to open the BioWin album. To do this, I go to the main toolbar and click the album button. In this example, there are some charts already added to the album. In order to add a table, we will need to add a page to the album. To do this, go to the album menu and click Add Page. When we do this, BioWin presents us with some page templates. For example, we can choose between a layout that will simply hold one table or chart, or between other layouts where we can have multiple tables, charts, or combinations thereof. For this example, I am going to choose the single area layout. Now I have a blank page where I can add my table. To add a table, the first step is to right-click on the blank album pane and select Table from the resulting pop-up menu. This opens the table editor. From the Elements tree view, we will select the flow sheet elements that we wish to include in the table and push the arrow to add them to the selected elements list. The flow sheet elements will define the rows of your table. You can expand individual element groups to select specific elements. For example, we can expand the bioreactor group and select plug flow reactor number one and click the right pointing arrow. Or you can move the entire bioreactor group over by clicking on bioreactor and clicking the right pointing arrow. Note that if the element you have selected has multiple outputs, like a secondary settling tank, all the outputs are added to the selected elements list by default. If you do not want one of the outputs, click on the entry in the selected elements list and press the delete key on your keyboard. Next, we will choose the variables we want to include in the table from the combined variables, state variables, water chemistry, or element specific variables lists. You can select multiple variables from a given list using either the shift and control keys as you clicked. The airflow rate is an element specific variable listed under diffused aeration. You can use the arrow to move your selected variable or variables to the selected variables list or simply double click them. The variables will define the columns of your table. In your elements and variables lists, you can change the order using the up and down arrow keys. You can use the shift and up or down arrow key to select multiple items for moving. Next, we will choose whether we want the table to display concentrations, mass rates, or both. I'm going to leave it as concentrations. When I'm finished adding the elements and variable, I click OK to exit the table editor. You can also edit a table by right-clicking on it and selecting Edit Table from the pop-up menu. You can have BioIn calculate the total of a column if it's appropriate. For example, you may want to add up mass rates of inert suspended solids around a unit process. Or in this example, we could add up the total airflow for several bioreactors. We can click the Add Total So Far button to add a total of the rows above, in this case the total of the six plug flow reactors. We can have multiple totals too. Suppose we want to calculate the total of the first three reactors before calculating the total for all six. 
We could do that by adding another total so far line to our table after the first three reactors. You can also add blank rows to help group rows of your table. For example, suppose we would like to add a blank row to this table to separate the total from the individual airflows. To do this, simply right click, select Edit Table, and use the Add Blank Line option for the Elements list. The position of the blank line is denoted by a dashed line marker. You can add as many of these as you want and position them to achieve the desired appearance. You can easily export a table to a word processing document or a spreadsheet. Just right click on the table, select copy from the pop-up menu, and then choose paste in the destination application. Note also that any table you will add will be included with any charts you've added to the album in the Word document that's generated when you choose BioWin's report to Word function. This concludes the tutorial on adding tables to the BioWin album. Please see EnviroSim's video library for other tutorials to help you become more productive with BioWin.